I hope you enjoyed our story. While you've been watching it, I've been browsing through the workroom of one of Hollywood's hardest working composers. He's a unique personality. He's a delightful character. He's, well, let's just sum it up by saying he's the Russian-born gentleman who has written just about the most American-sounding tunes you and I have ever heard. Here's one of them. Remember it? Of course you do. And in a moment, our guest will play it for you. We all know the name of that song, but who wrote it? Do you know? Well, I could say he's Hollywood's most eminent composer of music for motion pictures. But to identify this particular gentleman, words don't help. His personality is better demonstrated than described. And for that purpose, let me take you back to the night of the 27th Annual Academy Awards, Wednesday, March 30th, 1955. The place, Hollywood. On that occasion, when the gentleman of whom I speak won the award for the best motion picture score of the year, he had this to say. Ladies and gentlemen, for my award, I should very much like to thank Beethoven, Brahms, Schubert, Grieg, Carelli, Palestrina, Mozart, Haydn, Mendelssohn, Johann Strauss, Oscar Strauss, and Richard Strauss. You're not forgetting Verdi and Puccini, are you? Oh, Verdi and Pucci. Thank you very much. I am awfully sorry. Thank you, Mr. Puccini. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of Hollywood's most distinguished composers, Currently the music maker for the new George Stevens production, Giant, the fabulous Mr. Dmitri Tiamkin. How do you do? You know, Mr. Tiamkin. Oh, please, Dmitri. Dmitri. That's right. Always wondered, that night when you won your Academy Award, why did you thank those other composers? For their help. Yeah, I know, but they were dead long before you were even born. Mm -hmm. Lucky for me. <laughs> but seriously, Dmitri, how did you uh, start composing? I really don't start composing and begin. I start to improvising. That was in old silent days of silent movies. Where? In uh, St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg? Yeah. But St. Petersburg, no, in Florida. Can I play for you? Please do. Now the boy is kissing the girl. Not yet. Since those faraway days, Mr. Tiamkin has gone right on, not improvising, but composing some of our best loved music. Uh, for example. The hit ballad from High Noon, in case you didn't know. You know, Dimitri, it's strange that you, who have spent so many years in foreign countries, can capture the flavor of the American people so exactly. You know, people ask me the same question over and over again. And really, I must tell you honestly that my answer is that American people who inspire me to write this Western music. And as a matter of fact, I like very much to use in my picture all the American folk tune. I consider that the United States possesses the most greatest treasury of original folk music. For instance, you remember? <laughs> In uh, Giant, I and Paul Webster, when we start to work, we read this book and we came to conclusion that the most important thing is to capture their feeling of this great land in this great state of Texas. So, by accident, I have a copy of this song here. By accident? <laughs> Purely. And uh, if you permit, maybe you can read it because you know my English is not very good. Really? Really. And uh, can you read this thing? And uh, I'll try. Right? And uh, you ready? Yeah. So can I give you two bars for nothing? Good. This, then, is Texas. Lone Star State of Texas. This, then, is Texas. Land I love. the 
love song in this picture. And you happen to have that one with you, yeah, too? Oh, naturally. Now, you know, because my English is really not so good, I hope that you... Yes, I know. I'll yeah. uh, read the Can words and you play the piano. Now, without two bars for nothing. Without two bars. Yes. There'll never be anyone else but you. No other love. No one but you. You are my first love. You'll be my last love. So it shall ever be. You know, this love team is from the same picture, and really I was inspired by wonderful acting of Elizabeth Taylor and Rog Hudson. You know, Dimitri, as the dean of all of our composers for the screen, what one thing do you owe your success to? I must tell you sincerely that if I may obtain certain success, I attribute this success to this great, wonderful land where I live and these wonderful people with whom I have great luck to be associated for so many years. Well, that's a very generous way of putting it. And speaking of success, we all look forward to the success you'll have when Giant comes out. And thank you very much for being thank with us. Thank you very much, my boy. Thank you very much. Our thanks also to Mr. George Stevens, the distinguished director of Giant. In weeks to come, we'll tell you more about this most important picture adapted from Edna Ferber's novel to be presented by Warner Brothers. And now a word about next week's television presentation.